Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. So, alright, more spooky stuff, of course, because it's the month of October. Oh yeah, so here we are, I reckon. But yeah, it's just gonna be, again, another kind of a thing I'll be talking about here, because, obviously, it's, yeah, it's, it's Halloween. I mean, not the day, really, but still. So I'm going to be reviewing the Odd Hollows Eve and Forno. So here we are, Rocky. I just thought, might as well just get to it. I did review the other two installments, so I might as well get to it. I'm kind of reviewing these out of order, but I think that really matters because it's a, an anthology series, I guess. So as always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? Oh, plots, I should say. Because anyway... Just like the previous installments, it's going to have these several different stories or often would intervene with various different storylines and set during Halloween. Pretty much focus on these supernatural elements, one of which actually in, includes this Asian kind of a story, tell, story, I guess you can say. So that's something, I suppose. Yes, of course, like you might expect. There's going to be demons and whatnot. That's going to be definitely a thing here. Of course, just like the previous installments would focus upon, there's going to be no different in that regard. But yes, yeah, so there's going to be like one main thing that's going on as well, of course. When a woman survives a horrific crash that leaves her paralyzed, her nightmare is far from over, of course. Transported into this foreign hotel, she becomes a victim of a sadistic doctor and he has like this experimentation, so it's like torture in nature, of course, forcing her to enter this haunted dimension filled with demons and mayhem, of course. So yes, there's gonna be this crazy madness kind of a thing, as it should, quite obviously. I mean, yes, it's more or less the same old kind of a thing that, in some extent. It's more the same thing, sure. But anyway, and then there's the whole idea of these various stories that's being sent around and whatnot. So I think that's cool. That's a cool thing there. It's, it's a way to keep things refreshing to some extent. And yeah, that's definitely the case here, I guess. And But yeah, I don't know. I, I thought this was a pretty solid movie, of course. Again, another something I call Grand Masteries by any means. But still, though. But still, I thought that was pretty crazy in his own little way. Because it is. It's still wild. It's still really out there in a lot of ways. But I guess it's one of these things I expected to. Of course. I did. I really expected this to be like pretty weird in a lot of ways. And it didn't fall short in that regard. And I don't, I don't know. I can say that this was. Definitely is something not too shabby, of course. I don't mind this one really either, but uh, I guess I'm gonna say I was not I really expect a whole lot when it comes to this kind of thing, because I uh, I can see that the directors of these types of movies were trying to experiment with different types of stuff and see how things would go. At least that's what I got from this anyway. That's how I picked up on this because ultimately. It's definitely one of these types of stories, or various stories, it's trying to, to a different kind of stuff. How, how do I put this? Oh, yes. I can definitely say that making horror anthologies, they're difficult to do. They're really difficult to do, and especially concerning the fact to how to maintain the, the intention of the people who are watching this, of course, the viewers, and make the stories be interesting in some ways. But yes, unfortunately, it's, it's a lot harder than what it appears to be, of course. And that's just how it is in the grand scheme of things. But what it was worth, I thought that was decent enough, of course. I thought this was decent enough, obviously. But I can always say is that I did like the way it was trying to tell the stories. I mean, again, I'm not going to say that this was some big masterpiece and whatnot, because it isn't. I thought it was enjoyable enough, of course. Or all things considered, I mean, okay, sure, they may not, 
it may not be the biggest budget movie in the world when it comes to these types of features, but still, it's still to uh, the people who made this, it's still attempt to tell a story. In some ways, of course. And, I don't know, I can't say that there was an attempt at it. Uh, there was definitely an attempt at it, of course. So, there's that, I guess. But ultimately, I can definitely say that I can say it's it's not too bad, I guess. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen movies that were far worse than this. And I can see that some people actually, were actually disappoint me to some extent not because I once serial killer clown supernatural type character wasn't in in here really but uh, again that doesn't bother me bother me really because i can see the director was actually attempting to experiment with different ideas and whatnot and this entire thing this all these movies are supposed to take place in the same universe just different time and places at least that's how i took it anyway but anyway i i was fine with this really I, I, all I can really say is that it's not bad by any means. I can say that, I mean, yes, okay, the CGI, the special effects may not be the best in here, folks, but you do have to keep in mind that they didn't have the biggest budget as well. The effects, the makeup and all that, it's, it's just something that you need to keep in mind. Of course, it's going to be a bit of a strength, of course. It's going to be a bit of a strength, obviously. But anyway, ultimately... This is just the type of movie I just want to talk about. I've seen this not that long ago, really. I just thought this could be a good way just to celebrate the season. Obviously, it's Halloween, of course. And I definitely say that this is definitely a good way to spend the Halloween time. I, was, I can definitely say that it, I liked what we were trying to do here. I liked what we were trying to do in this one. I did appreciate the fact that it was an attempt to make tell some kind of stories, obviously, at least with some kind of an effort here. I'll give this an overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. It's a 6.8 out of 10 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching. See ya. Till next time. Oh, yeah.